Death Note is one of those series that I just keep coming back to. With every rewatch, I pick up on new and interesting details that I hadn't noticed before. But there's been one major thing that has been bugging me ever since the first time I ever watched the show. Light loses in episode 2. He may be smart, but he sure as hell isn't wise. And that's what gets him killed in the end. You'd be surprised at how many mistakes Light actually makes. But today, I just want to look at his absolute biggest blunder. So, obvious spoiler warning, and without further ado, let's get into it. Death Note. Perhaps one of the most intelligently written shows out there. It's one that you can recommend to pretty much anyone and it's almost certain that they'll enjoy it. But as I alluded to in the intro, Light really isn't that wise when you think about it. Let me explain exactly what I'm talking about. In episode 2, L decides to confront Light directly by putting a death row inmate on TV and baiting Light into killing him live on air. Obviously, we know how that went and Light completely fell for it. And that was essentially where he lost. Before this stunt, all L had was a hunch that there was a person behind this and that they may be in Japan. That is it. Nothing more. After Light took the bait, however, L confirmed that 1. Kira is in fact a person, 2. Not only is he in Japan, but he's specifically in the Kanto region, and 3. He does not need to be there in person. After realizing that he had just gotten played, Light decides to challenge L and makes even more quite stupid mistakes. Firstly, he never changed up the time of death until the police found the pattern. Secondly, he exposed the capabilities of the Death Note with his experiments. Thirdly, and most importantly, he accessed police information and then acted on it. In hindsight, it actually feels like he's trying to zero himself out as much as possible. So what should he have done, you may ask? Light was handed an absolutely untraceable, magical notebook that no one has ever even imagined. So you know what he should have done? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If he hadn't decided to try to get rid of L right then and there, none of these suspicions would have been confirmed, and there would be a lot less movements in the various police departments as well, as they'd essentially be chasing something they're not even sure exists. But, I hear you say, L still would have found the time patterns and locations and may have even figured out that there is a student behind it. Well, sure, but how many students are there in the Kanto region? There is literally no way that they could single out Light in any way. Which leads me onto my biggest issue. He actually acted on the police intel, which he only had access because of a very close relative. This is like the number one thing you hear when listening to true crime podcasts. The first people to suspect are relatives and other very close people. So let's really quickly look at how much Light has already pushed himself into a corner. He has confirmed that he exists. He has confirmed that he's in Japan and in the Kanto region. He has essentially confirmed L's suspicion that he is a student and that he may be related to a fairly high up member of the police. Just think about that for a moment. How much has he narrowed down the suspect list already? Light could still keep an eye on what the police is up to, but he shouldn't have reacted to it. Keep in mind he has a completely untraceable weapon. So his best course of action was to keep on doing what he's doing. Even if he didn't change the method, he could keep it up endlessly. Maybe add the time to like half of the names he writes down, or sometime while he sleeps or in the morning, but not every single hour on the dot, as that would again expose what the Death Note is even capable of. And not write in response to their new suspicions. Alright, now that we've covered that, I have another fairly big problem with this whole thing. The Death Note is a simple notebook, right? We know that even a piece of it still works. We know that it can be destroyed. So why does Light come up with this insane method of destroying the evidence? Here's what he should have done. Take the pages, put them in a different notebook. As you complete the pages, tear them out and burn them separately. There's no paper trace, and even if L walks right up to Light and takes the book, he has absolutely nothing. Finding a blank notebook in a student's bag is not really surprising, is it? You always hear that hiding in plain sight is the most effective, right? Well, this is exactly it. In a perfect world, Light would just stagger a bunch of names ahead of time and continue living his life exactly as he has so far. 
All L would have are a few suspicions and nothing else. He could send out as many FBI agents as he wanted, that is if he could even get the police on board, but singling out Light would simply be impossible. What about the second Kira though, I hear you ask once more. Well, that is perhaps the only real issue that may crop up. And I say may, because the second Kira may not have demonstrated his powers like she did if Light hadn't killed the fake L back in episode 2 live on air. But the best part about the second Kira? Light could have still done absolutely nothing about it. Since their goals aligned, it's not like they get in each other's way, and as we established before, getting caught using the notebook is actually quite a bit harder than portrayed in the anime. If Misa didn't try to challenge the police, it would be essentially impossible for someone to track her down, as she'd actually cover for light if the names were misspelled in the reports. So, for the final time. Light should have realized that there is no way for anyone to zero in on him based on the information available, and because of this, he shouldn't have changed the way he works in any way whatsoever. Just like they point out in the show, violent crime had already dropped by an incredible amount, so his twisted dream was already becoming a reality. Obviously the whole point of the show is how it's his pride that ultimately is his downfall, but that's why I love shows like Death Note so much. The premise, by its very nature, is interesting to deconstruct and think about how it would go down in real life. You immediately want to find solutions to this cat and mouse game of Light and L, which is why I'm making this video. But of course, for the story to work the characters must be flawed, otherwise the user of the Death Note would just never be caught. And that's the video. This is one I rewrote many many times as I wanted to go much more in depth into the various strategies of both sides, the genius and mistakes behind them and so on, but decided on these just few biggest flaws in Light's thinking. If you'd like to see any more content about Death Note, be sure to let me know, I absolutely adore this series so I could theorize about it for hours. But other than that, I want to say thank you very much for watching, I hope you have a great day and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.